maintain status as one of the best welterweights in the world. He is absolutely one of the best welterweights in the world. A lot of times people mistake the talk and the persona for Colby not being able to be a fighter. Colby Covington is a fantastic fighter, and he will get in your face from the moment the official or the moment the referee says fight and the pace and the cardio and the work rate that he will push on his opponents is enough to break guys. Guys that are traditionally known as phenomenal cardio fighters like Rafael Dos Anjos melt under Colby Covington. He is a great fighter and a very, very hard worker. Colby Chaos Covington has graced the octagon. He is ready to go. here and whether it's going to be his takedown game or his volume striking it's just going to be non-stop offense from colby covington leads the league in cardio mentally he is forged very big challenge in front of his opponent here tonight and now leather being thrown on both sides look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee thank you for right. nice double leg nice finish Work with the strikes here off of his back line, Sean. Sure. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. to the mount. Covington's right back to the full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Nicely done. Big ground and pound. Covington's back to the side control now. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Just over three minutes to go now. 
Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, big shots from the top. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Win the scramble. Win the scramble. Oh, and the ball. It's a great ground and pound by this man. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Nice transition. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. He hit the out here. Oh. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Postures up again and delivers another sequence of ground and pound there. Nice work there by Covington. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Side control now. Covington's back in full mount. Stay busy here on the ground. Don't stay in front of your back. Your Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Look to count that hook. Let's go. Look to count that oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Covington. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Posture's up now, that's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? In the half guard. Let's go, we got a scramble here. Covington's back in full mount. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Huh. Round two is next. All right, let's take a seat. All right, listen. You can't wait. I need you to be first, okay? Let's get behind that jab and start throwing your kicks out there. Punches move. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. Ready to fight? Ready. Four All right, eight. round two. after he blocked the previous shot. Nice head kick. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, they're stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, collar time. There's his jab. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Covington gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Close guard. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Nice punch there. Yeah. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, another takedown for Cody Covington. Disguised it well, didn't telegraph the entry, and now we'll see what he can do with it. Very difficult guy to control once he gets top position, DC. Get yourself up, All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Good, solid strike on the ground. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. Side control. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Get on your side. Get on your side. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Look at that. Recognize who's about to lose position. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. You got him four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Grounded him. And pounding him. Nice job. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow himself to get so. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward, he level changes, and he takes you down. Once you're on the ground, he grinds you out. This is a wrestler's calling card, and he is showing you why tonight in the outcome. Good work from the top here by Covington. He's very accurate in the ground and ground, and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Final seconds here. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Covington. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. 
Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Working with the elbows. Choi's in half court. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Choi gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Lands a nice straight. And a miss with the right hook. Takedown defense is there. Now some spacing as they exit the crunch. Oh, nice. Another shot here. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Covington gets touched by that kick there. Three minutes to go in round three. He has absorbed a lot of power shots. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Choi's pass is denied. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Great job landing from the top position. Covington's right back to the full mount here. This is a terrible position. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Covington. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. One minute now to go in the third. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Takes his back. Under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Final seconds of round three. Lands with the ground and pound here. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking.
Ready to fight. Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Ooh, that shot was blocked. The hook lands on the counter. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Covington gets the double leg takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of his position off the bottom. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's wanted to... Well, he's got his back now. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. It's the elbow there. Gotta be careful here. Covington's got his back again. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Oh, overhand left. No good. Effective with the jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. And now he's got the back. Great shots from the top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Two minutes to go. So we'll see if he goes for another takedown here. And it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Choi's got a pretty deep bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Covington. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh, my goodness, I lost the position. Covington's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, that's tight. Might just be a matter of time now. That guillotine choke is getting tight, but you can't just squeeze. You gotta get your hips into your opponent if you want him to tap. He's gotta start throwing down. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. 
Well, beautiful job there to posture up and land another vicious strike. Nice work there. Go, go. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Yeah, 20 up. minutes in the books. All right, sit down, corner bud. That was perfect. Everything you threw out there backing up was landing. Your counter fighting is looking awesome. Keep that. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round for Yeah, you. where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready to fight? You ready? Go it on. is the fifth and final round. Oh, and he tags it with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Great timing on that double leg. Now he's going full mount. Hey, scramble, get up! Scramble! This is where he wants to be. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. He's got that arm triangle, lots of pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight and try to reach his technique. Oh, great submission defense. Choi gets back up. Nice counter left hook. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Covington's back in half goal. Oh, good defense, yes. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, right into mouth. Good work from the top here by the Korean Super Bowl. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Lands the jab. Ooh, big shot land. Swing and a miss with that punch by Covington. And blocks that hard punch. Collar tie here in the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Takedown defense holds up. Another big team. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Troy's uppercut, but that one is blocked. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponents. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's important. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out or guys start to attack triangles. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. 
got to be careful here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Seconds now to go in the fight. Choi's in half guard now. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von flu choke looks locked in. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Covington. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho! So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just.